So this video is how to make an audiogram. I probably first need to explain what is an audiogram. Typically this would be for someone who is doing audio only podcasts and this can be a really nice visual way to just post a snippet of an interview. Maybe there's a quote that your speaker, your guest says and you think, That'd be really good. You know, how do you put that audio onto Instagram or somewhere? Well, you would use one of these audiograms. Now, we do have an image behind here, but the same thing applies. So we're just gonna show you how to do this. Typically, it's going to be in a square format, but we'll start off with this vertical version anyway. And we're going to apply a template. And uh, I'm already in. Let's just come back from here. Uh, let's come into the gallery and we've got audiograms and again it will show you a preview on here this one does say basic portrait audiogram so this would work in this place i'm not particularly liking that i prefer this one in fact this one would work well as again in this um, portrait style so let me just drop this one on we're applying this to the first scene and notice what is happening here. So again, let's come down to the timeline. I want you to get used to seeing how these things are built up. So I can see down here, that's my um, original captions. Let's take that off. And we've got this light leak, this background. We've got um, audio waveform up there. We've got an, another audio waveform here. You'll see that in a second. That's the circle. And then I've got just images, screenshots in here, and then fancy captions at the bottom. So let me just click this and you'll see what happens. Authenticity is absolutely key to building a strong connection with your audience. So you get the idea there that we don't have any visuals, but you've got a photo of your guest and you on here. And uh, we could put a, another title up here or we could say something about, the, you know, maybe what's the title of the podcast. In this case, five ways to connect with your audience. Do you see how this would work? You know, if this was showing up in a story or something and then it said, click to hear the full podcast, come over and watch the video. And again, we could grab these and pull them across and we could spread this across the whole thing. Or we should be able to copy over here and hopefully apply it across. Yeah, so it's working that way as well that we can copy and paste from scene to scene. As before, we can change this around individually. We can go in here and change the fonts and the styles. Uh, I'm not sure how it works with the waveform. Yes, so this is a circle waveform in here. And uh, we could totally change the colors of that by the looks of it. That's gonna look a strong connection with. <laughs> and I can always just hit undo on there to go back to what we want. So that's applying a template to that. And once we've got this and we've branded up to ours, as before, we could say save to templates and make it our own version. There's another template over here. And all this one is doing is bringing in the text. So let me knock out all these previous ones. So all I've got, oops, that wasn't right, was it? Let me start from scratch. I'll bring this in again. This is not expecting me to be in the background. This should have been an audio one. So what I can do is actually bring in just a rectangle like this, and we're just gonna make that white behind. And notice that the rectangle here in the timeline, we're gonna click on this. So the rectangle's on the front here. I don't know why that's changed. And we're going to say layer order, center back. And we now want to just send the video to the back. See what happened there? I thought I was selecting the video to send to the back. It's telling me down here that it's the rectangle that is selected. So while the rectangle is selected, I can say bring forward. So at the minute it's sitting at the bottom here behind the main video track. When I bring it forward, it's now sitting here. Did that make sense? It, it should be easy on here to uh, visually see what's coming. So I can see the title, title at the top. So this is where I would put the title of my show this would be five ways to connect um, descript's logo is there i can just knock that out if i don't want it or i could put my own logo uh, what we're really looking at is authenticity is absolutely key to building a strong connection with your audience now at the minute you know this isn't overly exciting what we could add to this is we can bring in note see it says here under the um objects there's a waveform and there's a progress bar so let's click on waveform and it's not gonna look good because it's white. Let me just change this over 
first and then I'll let you see what it is that we've got here. So it might be that we want that same blue as we've got above. Authenticity is absolutely key to building a strong connection with your audience. So you might like that as a, as a waveform on here. We can change it from there to be a line where the fill is blue. So let's see what happens on this one. Authenticity is absolutely key to building a strong connection with your audience. All right, so you're starting to see there's some different ways of doing this. Circle would be similar to one that was we saw in that previous template. Authenticity is absolutely key to building a strong connection with your audience. Now I'm keen to just see what that looks like. Building a strong connection. Uh, it's, I thought it would have been thicker than that, really. It's, uh, when we looked at it on this one, it was quite a chunky. Live sessions. So let's just have a look. We can break that down, actually. So that was called a circle. This is the style. It got fill. Ah, it got a big border on that one of 100. So now let's come back to this one in this scene. Border of five. So let's make, there we go. Right, so if that border is now bigger, and we can make the thing bigger anyway. Authenticity is absolutely key to building a strong connection with your... Something visual that's a bit of fun. Now, another way to do this, let's bring in another object, and that is a progress bar. And so what I could do right at the top here is if I drag this to fill uh, the width of this... Oops. We need to make sure that is filling like that. When I click on it, I can say the bar has got a color. So the bar itself is going to be this color. And we could set the background as well. That's not bad as it is. What we need to do, if we want this to work through the video so people can see how far through they are, we drag this all the way across the video. And um, let's have a look. Authenticity is absolutely key to building a strong connection with your audience. Be yourself during your live sessions. Share personal stories, experiences, and challenges that you've faced on your journey, especially when things have gone wrong. This kind of vulnerability. Okay, so you can see there that that could be quite nice, a progress bar that just shows people how much of the video there is. It can be as a bar, it can be as a ring. Creates a relatable, or it can be as a pie. Authentic bond with your viewers. So different ways that you can use this, but again, it's just layers, it's making it interesting, it's keeping people on your videos. So yes, none of that really was, <laughs> well, that's not true. I felt like I went a little bit off of a tangent from audiograms, but you need to make sure that you're watching all the videos because you might miss little bits like that. But uh, you can obviously apply this, as you can see here, it doesn't need to be an audiogram. We could have this uh, progress bar, we could have the waveforms and things in any of these vertical videos, and it just might create a little bit more interest. All right. Uh, there we go, audiograms and more.